Today is Friday, February 3rd, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Peyton Spellacy. Here are today's top stories. Super Bowl winning coach and Syracuse football alum Tom Coughlin is featured on the newest episode of Q's Conversations podcast. On the episode, Coughlin talks about his coaching career, Super Bowl championships, and why he chose SU. Coughlin re released his book, A Giant Win, in December, covering how the Giants defied all odds to win the Super Bowl in 2008. And Syracuse University's resident red-tailed hawks are confirmed to have died from a pathogenic avian influenza, more commonly known as the bird flu. SU Sioux and Otto were tested at the Cornell University Veterinarian Medicine's Animal Health Diagnostic Center. The beloved birds were lifelong mates and raised 28 offspring on campus, while global audiences watched them from the SU Hawk Nest Cam. And the Skyline Apartments in Northeast Syracuse have been declared unfit by the City of Syracuse Code Enforcement. Tenants of the building have not had hot water since Monday and received a letter on Tuesday stating everyone must pay rent and no one cause a nuisance or they will be evicted. The building owners have been issued a stop rent order until hot water is restored. They confirmed that a license has been secured for repairs but are waiting on for parts. A housing initiative program has been announced in Onondaga County to combat the housing shortage. The program, known as OCHIP, has $10 million in funding for developers, both profit and not-for-profit. Developers can receive up to $250,000 and are required to create a project with at least five units. County Executive Ryan McMahon says the initiative will help the county's current issue along with the future, with the future Micron um, workforce. A gunman is dead after a standoff with Utica police. Officers were called into a convenience store after a victim was shot and reports of the gunman still being in the store with a possible injury. Police worked with SWAT members using a drone to check the store upon arrival where they found the shooter deceased of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Utica police pl spokesperson Sergeant Michael Curley says the shooting investigation is ongoing. And coming up, a country star is making a stop in Syracuse and it just might be smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Find out who it is after the break. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Hey yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey yo, let's crawl. Welcome back. A new restaurant is open in downtown Syracuse. Stories, a breakfast and lunch restaurant opened this week. Owner Jose, Jose Morales is familiar with the space as he was the chef for the former restaurant, Today's Special. Morales says he kept much of the old menu but made a few tweaks. Stories is open from 7 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. And Chris Stapleton is coming to Syracuse for a stop on his All-American road tour Roadshow Tour this summer. The eight-time Grammy winner will perform at St. Saint 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 Joseph's Amphitheater at Lakeview on June 8th. Tickets for his tour go on sale Friday morning, and Stapleton's fans, fan club will receive early access tickets and VIP packages starting on Tuesday morning and running through Thursday night. And the weather is looking absolutely treacherous out there. Here to tell us more is Alana Epstein. Well, thanks, Peyton. Let me just start off by saying that there is a wind chill advisory right now. So if you're going to be going outside, try your best not to. Currently, it's zero degrees and we are seeing 20 mile per hour winds. Kind of crazy going into tonight. I hate to break it to you. It's going to go down a little bit to negative three degrees, but those 60 mile per hour winds might make it feel a little bit warmer and we can look forward to some warmer temperatures this weekend. On Monday, it's going to be 35 and Tegan has something for us for Live at Six. Alana, coming up on Live at 6, our reporter Jacob Goldberg is going to tell you why students on campus are worried about a contract clause when it comes to next year's housing. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us on Citrus TV News on Twitter. I'm Peyton Spellacy. The news continues in an hour.